welcome back to my channel today I am gonna show you what the next thing is that I'm gonna use in a new project so stay tuned okay this time it's the very 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 first time that I use these papers for a kit and I'm gonna tell you it's the designer is for is Agniska Adamiuk. I hope I pronounce that correctly, Agniska. Um, okay, so it's not the first time that you heard me say this uh, new brand. So you design. Um, I believe last year she sent me her very very first paper collection. And I believe it was something with unicorns. I forgive me the name. I forgot the name, but it, it, it was definitely something with unicorns and, and dark blue. Oh my gosh, I love that one, but I forgot the name. But anyway, it's from So You Design, and this time it's called Eclipse. And this is uh, I'm, what I'm going to use for my new project, and and also it's going to be for a new kit because. When I saw this new collection, it's brand new. You can even smell <laughs> the papers that it's fresh from the pers. <laughs> and um, I saw it and I right away had this feeling. <gasps> I love it. I want it. I need it. And I want to use it. Okay, so that's why. <laughs> so what I am going to show you. Of course, I'm going to show you everything. So I have a 6x6 pad, which I'm going to show you in just a sec. I have the, the nice uh, journaling words. And if you're going to see the words, then you're already going to know what kind of papers these are. Moonchild. Tell your story. Believe in magic. Smile. Mystery. Filled with magic. Ooh, delightful. By the light of the moon, dream, breathe, go slowly, be strong, create, imagine, spread your wings, inspire creativity, pure magic. Oh, do I need to see more? Do I need to say any more? Love it, love it, love it. And for the white is girl, man, more than a woman, my, never give up, positive, woman, timeless, zodiac, courage, strong. I have no idea what that word is, esoteric. I have no, I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna look that up. Magical hands, ooh, magical hands. Into the night, moon, eclipse, live, breathe, life, love, your card. Love this one too. The other side of the mirror, ooh, see, was a mystery. I am a mystery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Filled with magic, you and me. You are enough, tell your story, life, live your life without fear, definitely. Women, women are from Venus, all right. And on the back, everything is the same, but then in Polish, but I don't understand Polish, so yep, we are going to use English. Yes, all right, so that's inside. That's what I'm going to use too. And I have two, two paper packs of the 12 by 12 papers and in each pack there are eight double-sided sheets and one bonus sheet but the one bonus sheet is the back of the cover that you will see right here so let's dig in okay so i unpacked one already so i'm gonna show you why am i singing a little bit oh i don't know why but i do that more often lately <laughs> so the collection is called Eclipse and you right away see oh, you can use this you can you can you can love it love 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 it all right Agniska let me show you the front why am I tall in that Agniska tell you the front I'm crazy I know I know I know I know and the back the back of the cover and that's what they mean what I mean with the with the bonus the back we have what do we have oh I see a sunshine a wave raven I call this is this a raven I think it is 
so many and some golden diamonds you also have these hands with some magical moon kind of a I have no idea how you call it but I love it it's kind of a little yeah mm, bottles moon more bottles yep yep it's not a butterfly I know it's a I know in Dutch it's a mod in the Dutch but I have no idea what it's called in the English somebody is gonna help me with that but gosh I love it love it love it all right so that's the bonus now let me show you the first page and this is the person <laughs> on this paper where I fell in love with uh, you know yeah it's, it's kind of a little I, I, I believe that this woman has a little wet hair and I am a wet hairist too so yeah 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 love it and do you see this this moon thing with that things going on everywhere I love that that's a little spirit 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 oh my goodness yeah I even don't know the name in, in, in Dutch right now spiritual that's the word that I want to search for that okay oh my gosh and a lot of flowers I can watch this so many times dark blue is in it and and that 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 purple burberry is going everywhere and especially this this green one oh I love it okay let's go to the back don't talk too much girl don't talk too much okay so here we have pretty much the same um papers that we have in big but then in small pieces plus you have some extra words down here love the wolf but i'm gonna get into that in just a sec okay i love this one look at this oh love the colors <gasps> it's yeah it is magic but it's not witchcraft or halloween um no it's 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 also not spooky. It's, yeah, I don't know. Something different. Voodoo. No, not, not, not also. Ooh, this is black. Black on the back. And then you got a little view on these golden diamonds. Do you see that? Oh, yes, you can see that. Love it. Love the black. Oh, another black one. Love dark. And Oh, 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 I see this for the first time. Oh, gosh, I don't think, do you see that? Oh, yeah, here you can see. There's the wolf is in here, too. Oh, that is nice. You really have to search for that, but you will see that when you get it in your hands. Love it. Oh, and here we have another nice woman. And I love the gold touch in, in here, some, somewhere and everywhere. Love it, love it. Oh, look at this queen. <gasps> Fabulous. Yes, I love it. Oh, wow. You can do so many things with this one. All right, so now we have a, uh, a sheet, not a cheat, a sheet with the alphabet. And I know that is not all. Eclipse is already in here. Paper is already in here. Mm -hmm. Fun. And I bet there are magic. There are more words, but you will find them. You will find them. But you can use them for everything, so I love it. Okay, now here we have the wolf. Oh my gosh. Love it. You even thought of that right now you even can use this to color this in if you like if you like it can be love it oh and all the flowers and the backgrounds oh wow love it curious how i'm gonna use this very curious how i'm gonna use that oh and here we have another nice lady oh i like the lady with the big wings yeah love it I also have big wings. No, I don't have a tattoo, tattoo, but love it. 
so cool and she has blue eyes but black hair but also but for the rest oh she's pretty 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 gosh i love this team yeah i have i i, I am still searching for the white right word because yeah eclipse um, moon um bottles of potion perhaps something spiritual love it oh oh this is nice to use fits on everything love it so cool all right let's go on all right so here we have i believe these are the horoscopes images Forgive me for all the bad words that I have. I am not an English person. I am Dutch. Dutch as it can be. So I am always searching for the words. But try to do it in Dutch. Okay. But anyway, I know these are the images for the horoscope. And I love the gold touch in it. It's not gold, it's yellow orange. But you get the picture that this would be an orange touch. Love it. So cool. Oh, wow. Oh, why do they make two nice different, two nice pages on one page? Oh, wow, I love it. I love the, the watercolor touch. I love the splashes of gold and, and rose gold and a bit purple and this color. I love, 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 love. All right, so let's go to the next page. Oh. I see this one. I believe this is the same one. Let me check. Yep, this is the same one as the front. And what do we have on the back? Oh, on the back we have flowers. Oh, that's good. So I don't have to choose. Then I will definitely use the cover and this one for the flowers. That's cool. That's nice. Okay. So cute. You can all cut these out. And then for the last one, you have these yeah, six by six pieces. Again, with that mod in Dutch. <laughs> and love these hands. See, even the, the, the image has the long nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, there are even more images of the same girl, but then different. Oh, and do you see that? Oh, that's nice. You see that she has a dress. Uh, she has a dress. This is a white dress. But here, there is a nice image of a deer. I hope you can see that. See that? Oh, wow. And every, everyone has it. Of course, it's the same image, but then in a different color love it and this one this is my favorite love this one oh that would be awesome on the front of the thing that we're gonna do oh and one in black nice 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 love it so so much okay so that was the eighth double-sided sheet which we I have two because yeah what can you do with eight sheets and 16 is more easy and I also have the 6x6 and the 6x6 has 21 double sheets and it's pretty much the same oh this is not the same that's I did not see oh that's nice that's not the same all right are oh, there more surprises in here this one I saw this also so I think the rest is pretty much the same. Yep, this I also see. Yep, the wolf and the letters. Oh my gosh, so cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I think the rest is pretty much the same as the 12 by 12. Hmm, this one we didn't see. Didn't we? Let me check. I always like to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the back of this? No, see? It's the back of this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so the 6x6 is a little different. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so cool. All right, so what shall we make of this? What shall we make? What shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? <sighs> what can we do with this? Oh my goodness. And I, I already looked at these papers a few days already. I do not have them very long in my possession, but look at these color palettes. Look at this. Oh, oh, love it. I really love the colors. That, that green and that burgundy with the black and the gold. That are, that are the four main colors. And yes. Let's see what we can do with that, so stay tuned! And this was a long, long, long introduction of the new Eclipse, uh, the new collection from Zoyo Design called Eclipse. Cool. So love with it. Okay, <laughs> I am gonna do something what's been a long time that I did and um, Yep, I am going to put some gloves on. And normally I would do this um, downstairs in the kitchen with the oven. But I am going to show you upstairs, one or two, how you can do that too without um, using the oven. But... <laughs> It's going to get messy, so I am going to cover the left side of my desk. I don't want to have any splashes. That's where I don't want to be splashes on. I don't know how messy I am. So I'm going to clean up a little bit. Yep. Yep, the rest is okay. <laughs> okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to... Um, color some paper so I have a little yay what's this all right this is coffee so when I like to make my pages um, darker old style then I use coffee and oh you definitely can see that my table is not 100% stay uh, steady so yeah you can see that so that is why all my tools are rolling to the left all right <laughs> all right so this is what you need you need some coffee um and if you don't want to use coffee because some of you guys don't like the smell afterwards um it's gonna be yeah, you really have to smell real close by to your nose to smell it and i always do it like this and the people who buy my journals never complain about the smell so I like to use it because it gives just a little darker color to the paper and you also can use tea that's also so tea dyed colored paper but I'm gonna use coffee coffee dyed color paper all right so um, what else do you need I use gloves um, and I'm gonna use some cheap print papers um, 500 sheets and I believe this is what 3 euro so that's cheap so that's what I'm going to use alright so let's see if I can pull some out I don't have to use that much right now normally like I said ooh focus focus uh, normally I would do this downstairs with um in the kitchen uh, with the oven so that's normal that's the normal thing that I like to do so yeah I'm just gonna dip this in all the way yeah look at this color yeah 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 don't be afraid it's gonna be wet 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 all right let's change it to the other side dip it in all the way love it let's get dirty okay 
All right, so now I dipped it all the way. Okay, yep. And now I'm just going to, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, squeezing it all out. Yep, I did. Cool. And now just go easy with this. Easy, gentle, fold this out. But be gentle with that. Be gentle. Okay, look at that. Love it! Alright, so here we have a little opening, but guys, it's a very long time that I did this, so next time I will be just a little more careful. But look at this. Alright, now I'm gonna leave it just a minute right here. Just gonna do one more. Just because it can. Alright. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 so normally I would definitely do this downstairs in my kitchen, but here it can be, but I have to be a little extra careful. I don't want to mess up my desk all the way, but it can be done. It can be done. Okay, squeeze. You can squeeze hard, you can squeeze a little hard, but the meaning is that I want to squeeze out as much as I can for the coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, be gentle doing this. And even if you are tear a little, that's fine. That's totally fine. Perhaps I need to squeeze just a little, a little less. But that's okay. We're gonna make old papers. And one more. One, one, one last time. Let's see if I can squeeze a little less. Let's see if that is better. That is working better, but then you have less crinkles. But, yep, that does it too. See, but it's it's how you call it? It's more wet than the other one. So you need more time with this one to let it dry. But it's possible. Uh, I like it more. See, now you can squeeze it out a little bit more. Um, okay, since, yep, it is more difficult, but I do like it more. Alright. Fold it out. Oops, I tear it. Ew. Alright. Oh, well, this is quite tin paper. But we'll see how it will look when it's going to be drying. Okay, now, Ugh. need to push this away, push this away, not push this, pull, no, oh no, not pull also not. Lift this up, lift, no, gosh, <laughs> all right, so I'm just going <laughs> to grab the first one. Lay this here, and I'm gonna use my heat tool, so yeah. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. Well, normally, I would put this in the oven. And it works really fast, so each time, so you can imagine. I hope you can hear me. Do you hear me? <laughs> so normally, I would do this downstairs in my kitchen, putting the oven on, on, yeah, which, which degree I just put it on let's say 180 degree something like that so I have my 
I call that 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 same thing that you saw in, 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 in with the coffee, but then in the oven. All right, so nothing else, not the one with the little iron. Hmm, yeah, that thing. <laughs> Otherwise you will get all the stripes in it and you don't want that. So, so each time I have one done, I will put that in the basket, the oven basket, and I put it in the oven. The next one that I do is also squeeze it and in the meantime the other one is almost ready. And But be aware, be aware that you don't leave the kitchen because your paper is really going to dry really fast. As you can see with this one already, it dries fast. What you also can do, if you don't like these, um, these folds, and perhaps that is better because now you can squeeze it and I don't think that's you also can put some coffee in a bottle oh, I think this is pretty much dry not completely but if I put it in the oven Oh my god, I do hope that you hear me already. But this is not completely dry, but it's it's dry enough for now. You will see this completely goes away when it's completely dry. But gosh, I love how the sound, not the sound, how this looks. Love it. But you also can use, I don't think that I have one. I had one bottle. Oh, where's the bottle? But you can imagine, you also can spray this with only um, with the coffee and spray this and use the heating tool if you don't want to like to crinkle. If you definitely want to be sure that your paper is not going to tear everything, then you can. But I like, I like these. Yep, I like, like, like. I like these a lot. Now this one is a little more tear down and I don't know if I can use it, but you get the picture. You get the picture. Alright. I'm gonna see how it looks with the sprayed one. Let me fill up that bottle. Okay guys, so if you don't like those quinkles, then you also can use this in a bottle. Play it around, but I think you will get. Oh, yeah, it does a trick. Okay, that does it. And you also can make splashes, of course. Oh. And if you do it this way, if you don't want any crinkles, I also can make it a little like that. Let's see how this turns out. Pretty wet, so let's see. Getting loose. <laughs> but it's just playing, just playing around and you also can use just white papers of course and I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it but 
it's, it's been such a long time that I did this and I just love to do it. I love um, the end results of the, the baked papers. I do love the oven method better because it goes quicker than this of course. And, and it really gets a crinkle sound when it's when it's done. This takes a while, but you have to be sure that you don't tear it. But oops. But now you don't have any crinkles in it. It's still wet and it takes a while to let this dry. But you get the picture. You get the picture, I hope. See, it's gonna be dry already. And if you don't like the color, you can make it darker and darker each time. This is a pretty clean piece of paper. So you can do, yeah, you can, you can do a lot of things with it. See, totally different, but still, it's nice, a nice old looking. And you can do splashes. You can do anything, anything you like. You can. You can use um, ink if you like, if you don't like coffee, if you don't like using tea, you can use your ink. If you have something like this, um, mix it with some water and then you have exactly the same, um, the same idea with this one. Alright, so this is not completely dry, but you get the picture. You get the picture. It's a nice clean one actually. And like I just say, um, you can use ink if you don't like coffee. Okay, let's try this out because I do have it right here in front of me. So let's try it out. Okay. Um, now I lost my water. I just... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I do have some water right here. Put it in here. Alright, let's see. I have no idea how much you will need. I have no idea with one with one drop. But let's keep it like this. Alright. I need a sheet of paper. Let's see how this works. So cool. Let's get smoochy. <laughs> oh wow, this looks cool. So I'm just gonna see how this goes. So yeah, ink it up. Oops. Ink it all up. And there are so many ways. You can use sponges or towels or any kind. I still like the, this, this look. I just love to crinkle it a bit. Let's see, I just love that. Love it. Can't do without it. All right. What you also can do, if, if you don't want to um, throw away too much paper, uh, too much ink, just put another one on top of it and then just peel it off, be gentle, Ta -da! and you can use it, just use it all, never throw anything away. Don't. I hate throw everything. Sometimes I see 
I see videos and I don't and then I think oh why do you have to throw so much away you can use it even this one I can I can use it all right wow this is also nice see and this will definitely not smell like coffee but coffee is cheap to use so why not use it all right See, even this one is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wow, this is cool. Wait just a sec. Now, if I'm gonna so let me dry this first. Let me dry this first. Not completely, but just a little. Just a little to see if this is gonna be dry. How it looks. Because um how many drops did I use? Three, I believe. But yeah, so you can imagine three, uh, three drops, three drops uh, with one sheet. You can imagine how many ink you need. And coffee is much, much cheaper. But I do love the color. I do. And these are not completely dry. But. And you will see it tomorrow way better. See if you make it nice hot. Hot, hot, hot. It will curl on. Yeah. See? Oh, it's nice and crinkly. The harder it is, the more crinkly it gets. So that's why I love put this in the oven. It's so much faster. But stay with your oven. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't sue me if your house is burning down. If you are, be in the same room and every 10, 15 seconds, I believe. It really goes fast. It really depends on how high your oven is going to be. But it really goes fast. So I'm definitely going to make, I'm going to go downstairs and finish this off with the oven but I really like how this turns off too so perhaps it's a good idea to mix and match it a little perhaps even some tea dyed one so I have a few different colors that's cool nice old paper looks alright that's awesome I love the color, I definitely see the difference. And this needs to be dry still, it's still not completely dry because here I think on the end when all the the, the crinkles are dry it's gonna be looking like this. But I think this one is still getting that dark edgy curls crinkles. Oh well, definitely gonna use a few of these too. Now for this one, how does this look like? And I'm gonna reuse it. Cool. Let's test that out. Let's test that out. I also can use this with some coffee, of course. Hmm. Now I am first gonna test this out with two drops. And where do I put this? Just a little experiment. And four pieces of water. Yeah, cool. All right, let's dig in. This is so fun, fun to do. <laughs> oh, okay. It up well big time okay it was fragile 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 it definitely was fragile so there's I can't use it I can't oh no it's so fragile oh wow this is not good okay that was a mistake definitely was 
So next time I'm definitely going to use a little spray if I have such a piece of paper again to wet it. And perhaps I needed to wait till it was dry completely and then um, re-wet it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of work. But anyway, these are still not uh, dry yet, but you get the picture. You get the picture how you can make old papers. So, yep, I am going to do this further downstairs. Um, I have no idea how many I'm going to need. I have no idea. And some of them will have a fail. But you still can use these. I'm still going to we're gonna dry these perhaps you're gonna use these for tags or something but you get the picture all right thanks for watching <laughs> bye bye hello, hello hello okay the next morning all these are nicely dry as you can see all crinkles are very very loving in here and perhaps a, of course this is too much wrinkle but i love it i love it um, it was a very long time that I did this, so yeah, that I do have some damages to the paper. That becomes that because of that I... It was a very long time. And perhaps the paper was not a good quality as the first that I used years back. But, so I went downstairs after this doing... As you can see, without crinkling the paper, then it worked perfectly fine. So, but, okay, so after this one, I went downstairs and these, I still need to flat these out. But, um, so I went downstairs and um, spent some time with the same papers, but then not the same uh, technique with the crinkle uh, in it when it's wet. Um, so these are all made yesterday, oh, two days ago. Um, when you are done with these, um, there is a big pile because all are very not flat at all. And so I, I, I put it a night under my bed, under the mattress. I slept, I slept a night on it and then it's nice flat. As you can see, it's very dark. That's also the reason... Uh, which I like to use the oven because the oven makes your papers also very very darker than normal here I used a little uh, black ink in it to see what color paper then it gets it looks a little gray did not like it that much but so I throw it away and I put some coffee in it but I'm still gonna use those of course and um, so yeah this continuing and I do <coughs> so I do have some with crinkles in it, sample for this one. Here I do have some crinkles in it, not that much, but a few. So what I did with this one is I squeezed the paper when it's dry. So I squeezed it, then open it up carefully, and then I put it in my coffee tin. Um, and then I put it in the oven. So that means that I do not damage the paper so much. This paper really damaged real fast when it got wet. And of course it's thin paper. I think it's 80 gram or something. So yeah, it's natural that it will tear. So that was the thing that I did first. So I crunched it first when it's dry. Then I open it up and then I put it in my coffee. And I put it in the oven. Yay! Yeah, I love it. All right, so, and after I am done, I think I have something like 50 or 60 pages. I have no idea how much I'm going to use, but I always like to have some in hand. Um, so then I grabbed this pile of paper that was when I was ready, this high. <laughs> and then I just put it on my mattress and slept one night on it. And then it's nice flat to use. Love it. Love. Look at the side of this. I love that. So yeah, I don't know exactly where I'm going to use it for, but yeah, I do have something in mind, but I'm not going to tell you right now. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this one I definitely am going to 
still gonna use it perhaps for some backgrounds or something but these ones are better okay so see the, the the difference when it's not laying one night under my bed it's really bulky so okay so let's stop playing around with these papers love the touch of it i love the touch of it and okay i'm not a coffee drinker but mm, it smells like coffee like it okay so put this away and let's get on with the next step what else what else can we do we are gonna do i have no idea <laughs> okay girls so it's play time it's play time and um yeah i looked up yesterday a bit more on this team about the eclipse and yeah i know now a little bit more not that i'm a professional nope <laughs> I'm just looked it up a little bit more to know exactly what all these beautiful images mean and um, yeah totally forgot to look up the the the, the mod butterfly but um, yeah it's definitely something spirit 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 spiritual spiritual spirit 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 spiritual <laughs> in dutch it's way easier um so what can i do with this um i do like making mini albums with a lot of act activity um and most of you people are expecting to do this every single time i noticed that when i made my december daily that someone said to me it's so boring i am used to have loads more of activity well it's gonna be boring if i'm gonna make every single album exactly the same activities and um, i don't like that that's boring for me too so yeah once in a while i want to do something different and otherwise it's really gonna get boring so yep after the halloween album that was a very nice masterpiece in my opinion <laughs> of loads of activities and after that i did the december daily that's a little less activity but with with um with a meaning to add your christmas card in it and to write in there and to put your photos in as well <coughs> This time, this team of paper screams for something else. I don't want to make just a simple mini album to add just simple pictures in it. No, nope. I am gonna do something that I did a few years back. I'm gonna make a two in one. <coughs> so I'm not, I'm sorry, <coughs> I have a little early morning frog. Edgy, 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 edgy thing in my throat. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I, yeah, I have something in mind. That's why I also made those coffee dyed papers. I want to make not a junk journal, which I normally would use the coffee dyed papers. I'm not gonna make a activity mini album, which I normally would love, but I'm gonna make a two in one. So if that makes sense. And I did that before with the vintage ephemerate ephem yeah I <laughs> stop brabbling and just start. Okay, my videos are not a boring perfect tutorial. I never do that, never say that. I'm not perfect. I like to make those videos with following along so if you like to join me how i'm gonna do this then be stay tuned and have lots of fun with these papers yay cool so okay so if i'm gonna grab one coffee dyed paper and if i fold this in half what size do i have I'm just curious if I fold this in half it would be a nice size it's an A5 then uh, a nice size to write something in it 
the same size I, I would love to use as a junk journal. So I'm definitely going to use something. I'm going to make some booklets with the coffee dyed papers. So on the outside, I think I'm just going to use some black paper or any color you're going to like. Any paper, any color you like to use, you can use for this. So I'm just going to make a booklet. That's the base that I want to use. So this is going to be my base. And then inside of here, I'm going to add a few. I don't know, I think perhaps five or something. In here, I'm going to add those um, coffee dyed papers. So, so this is the base. And my base, I use the A4. I always, I don't know, it's an old, old sign, but I always have that in front of me. So I use as black papers the Clairefontaine, Clairefontaine black 160 gram papers. And the size of that is 21 centimeters by 29 and a half centimeters. And in inches, that is 814 by 11.58 inch. So that's the size I use. So, if you want to make exactly the same size, you don't have to because I know out of Europe you don't have exactly the same A4 size. So, you can just fold your A4 papers in half. You don't have to be exactly the same size as I do. My tutorials slash follow along videos are not particularly that much of measurements. You can follow me along and then your project will be exactly perfect as mine. mine. <laughs> All right, so just fold your paper in half. But if you like to do exactly the same size, then just cut your papers in that measurements I just gave you. All right, so this is the base. This is what I'm gonna use as a booklet. And then I think that I am gonna make also a base, the same size for this, to add something scrapbooking, mini album, kind of a thing, pages on here. What do you think about that? So I do like that. And then we'll see, perhaps I'm gonna sew it in, or perhaps I'm gonna use some ribbon, uh, some elastic or something, but definitely we are gonna make this one. So I'm not, I'm not gonna use any of, oh, we still can do if I'm gonna use it this way. And then you do a top loaded pocket. Oh, that's also a possibility. But anyway, <laughs> the base is this, okay? Okay, that's easy, easy peasy. Okay, I'm just gonna start with um, a feeling that <laughs> that is gonna be safe. So the first thing, sometimes you get inspiration while crafting and i'm gonna how many papers do i want okay so one two three i think five let's use five papers okay yep this is the good amount i like to use all right so <laughs> Let's just make a very simple booklet, as I promised. Just fold this in half. I'm gonna try the best I can to make them nice and even. Okay, then fold this in half. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hold this in half. Okay. That was easy, wasn't it? Alright, then just put this in the black one. And as you can see, you have a little of that coming out. And I don't want that. No, I want this a little bit shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some clamps on it. So it st stays here. Catch it with my boob, do you saw that? <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna cut down. Where was my cutting blade? My little one. And I'm gonna cut off a little edge. 
so it's gonna be inside that black booklet just yeah one or two millimeters that's totally up to you And if you think you can, of course, if you think that you lost a bit of that brown edge, then you just can re ink it with your distress ink, of course. I know I love using. And you also can do this at the top if you think it can be darker. But if you like it already, then yeah, I like this better. Okay, so now I can sew this all inside here. As you can see now, it's all nicely inside. All right, so um, you can put some clamps on here if it's nice and steady, of course. Nicely in the middle, put some clamp on here and one on the other side. Now I am thinking I do love, I'm gonna sew this together, but I do love that something is inside here that will cover up your um your knot so what shall we use we can make our own envelopes of course we can but you also can use a already bought envelope or you can make shall we keep it as simple as possible so what if what if we just make a simple simple as it can get pocket with oh wait oh wait i just i had something that i want to add on here oh yes i totally forgot oh i totally forgot about it yes okay i'll be back in just a sec mm -hmm. 